And in the next step of the video, I'll actually show you how to install Firefox as a deb package. Now, one of the issues that many people have with Lubuntu and Ubuntu, I believe as well, is that Snap applications are pre-installed by default. So for example, if I jump into my apps menu and then go up to system tools and then open my discover, which is my software center, And I'll just move this to the left a little bit. And if I do a search for an application, so for example, Firefox, and then scroll down this list, as you can see, Firefox is installed because it says remove. Anything that says remove basically means that it's already installed. But as you can see here, this is actually the Snap Pack version of Firefox. Now, don't get me wrong, there are benefits to running Snap Packs in your system. One of the really cool benefits is that snaps actually run in a sandbox, so they're isolated from the rest of your system. However, if you have a lower spec machine like I have, then you may find that snaps run a lot slower than, say, the dev packages that you'd normally use. So this next step is completely optional, but what I'm going to do is actually remove snap packs from my computer, and then if I do a search in my Discover software center, then I won't actually be served up as part of the results any snap packs. Cool, so what I'll do is I'll close out of Discover and then open up a terminal window, Control Alt T, and I'll just move this to the left a bit. And so firstly, what I wanna do is actually find out what snaps I have installed on my machine. So to find out, just type in snap list and there we go i have bear core 20 firefox gnome 338 2004 gtk common themes and snapped so what i want to do is actually sequentially remove all of these so the first thing that i'll remove is firefox and in the next step of the video i'll actually show you how to install firefox as a deb package so to remove each of these firstly i'll start with firefox Type in sudo snap remove, followed by hyphen hyphen purge, because I want to actually completely clean my system of these snaps. And then space followed by the application name, which is, of course, Firefox. So I'll control shift C to copy, and control shift V to paste, then press return. And this is now disconnecting and purging my system of the Snap version of Firefox. So I'll speed up the video and then rejoin you as soon as this is completed. And that has completed. So next I'll remove the GTK common themes. So I'll copy that, Control Shift C to copy. And then rather than typing all this out, I'll just use my up arrow to go to the previous typed command. There we go. And then I'll remove Firefox and replace that with GTK common themes. So control shift V to paste and then return. And that's done. So next I'll remove the GNOME 338 So I'll control shift C to copy and then use my up arrow to go to the previous command and replace GTK common themes, control shift V with the GNOME 338.2.0.0.4 package. Press enter. Cool, and then I'll use my up arrow to go to the previous command and delete that and replace it with bear, which is the first package. So bear, press return. That's done. Next, I'll remove the core 20. So I'll do the same again. Replace bear with core 20. And then finally, I'm going to remove snapped. So I'll use my up arrow. Replace that with snapped. And then press return. And that's completed. So now what I want to do is actually delete the snapped daemon package. So to do that, I'll use my up arrow and then this time delete everything up until the hyphens and replace purge with auto remove. 
space snapped. And instead of snap, it's actually meant to say apt. So I'll place that with apt. So sudo apt remove hyphen hyphen auto remove snapped. Return. There we go. Return again for yes. And this will remove all traces of the snapped package. <laughs> And that has completed. So now if I use my up arrow to go to the snap list command. There we go. As you can see, there are no snaps on my system anymore. Right, so now that I've removed all of these packages, I want to make sure that my system doesn't reinstall snap packages in the future. So to do that, I'm going to create a configuration file. So I'll run the command sudo nano, and that is for the nano editor, followed by forward slash etsy, forward slash apt, forward slash preferences dot d, forward slash no snap, dot pref. Cool, so I'll press return and this is the configuration file that I've just created and so currently it's empty so I'm going to type in a few commands. So firstly what I'll do is I'll type in a comment so I'll start off with a hashtag space and that means that this command that I'm typing in right now is commented out, it's not part of the instruction set. So I'll type in to prevent repository packages from triggering the installation of snap and then a new line and to continue the comment I'll do another hashtag and then type in this file for bids snapped from being installed by apt full stop. Cool, so that's just a comment so I know what this is and then return return and then type in the actual command. So firstly I want to define the package so package colon snapped press return again and then type in pin colon release a equals asterisk and then return again pin hyphen priority colon space minus 10. Cool, so I'll write that out. Control O to write and then enter to write the lines and then control X to exit. Cool, so now I'll run an update. So sudo apt update hyphen Y Cool, so that has completed. Now, if I actually wanted to reverse this and install snap packs in the future, then what I do is I'd firstly remove this file here, the no snap.pref file. So to do that, you would just replace nano, which would edit the configuration file, and you just type in rm space, and that will actually remove that package. And then once you've done that, then you'd reinstall the snap store. But I'm happy to continue on my system without snap packs installed, so I'll just exit out of the terminal and we are done with snap packs. Cool, so if I jump into my apps menu, in the internet section, as you can see, Firefox is no longer installed. So what I want to do now is actually install Firefox as a dev package using apt. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll open up a terminal window. And so because I'm using Lubuntu, which is an Ubuntu based system, I'm actually going to add the Mozilla team PPA. So to do that, just type in sudo add hyphen apt hyphen repository space PPA colon Mozilla team forward slash PPA. So I'll press return and then enter again.
And so now I have the PPA added. Now I'll actually install Firefox. So to do that, run the command sudo apt install hyphen t space apostrophe lowercase o equals capital LP hyphen capital PPA hyphen Mozilla team, and this is lowercase apostrophe, then space, and then type in Firefox. Press enter to continue. And so I'll speed up this portion of the video and rejoin you as soon as it's completed. Cool, so the next step, I actually want to make sure that my Firefox dev package has a higher priority than the snap package so that when I update my system, I don't inadvertently reinstall the snap pack of Firefox. So I actually want to make sure that when I do updates, it updates this PPA version. So to do that, I'm going to create another configuration file. So sudo nano forward slash etsy forward slash apt forward slash preferences dot d forward slash Mozilla team PPA. Cool, so firstly I'll create a comment so I know what this file is. And I'll just type in ensures Firefox deb is updated. And then I'll go to a new line and type in package colon Firefox asterisk and then press return type in pin colon and so I want this to be the release lowercase o equals capital LP hyphen PPA in capitals hyphen Mozilla team and then to set the priority higher go to a new line type in pin hyphen priority colon and then type in 501 cool and now I'll write this out so control O to write enter to apply the right and then control X to exit fantastic so what I'll do now is run an update so sudo apt update hyphen Y And that has completed. So now if I go into my apps menu, in my internet category, here I have the Deb version of Firefox. Right, now the very last step is I'll actually show you how to remove the repository if you didn't want to use the Deb version. So you just go to your apps menu, go up to preferences, and then open your software sources. Enter your password and then go up to other software and then all you have to do is select the PPA that you want to remove and then click the remove button but I'm not going to remove it because I actually want to have this installed so I'll close out of there and now I have Firefox as a dev package installed on my Lubuntu system <laughs>